Yo, what's going on, universe? It's your boy, Fatavelli Ali, coming at y'all with some real talk, some real disturbing news I fell across the other day. My young boy, Cream, he, you know what I mean? He brought all this to light to me, you know what I'm saying? Through some posts through Facebook, and I just want to share it with the world so y'all know what's going on tomorrow. The banker bailout bill on the floor of Congress last week. Congressman Brad Sherman made a startling revelation. Many of us were told in private conversations that if we voted against this bill on Monday, that the sky would fall, the market would drop two or 3,000 points the first day, another couple thousand the second day, and a few members were even told that there would be martial law in America if we voted no. Martial law is defined as the rule by military authorities imposed on a civilian population. According to an article in the Army Times last month, the administration's threats of implementing martial law is not idle talk. In this shocking article, the U.S. Army admits they're bringing a combat team back from Iraq to continue their mission in America. And that this combat team will be a civil to unrest to and crowd in the control. Event of civil unrest in crowd control through non lethal weaponry. This deployment is, of course, in direct violation of long standing laws known as Posse Comitatus and the Insurrection Act, which strictly prohibit the U.S. Army from policing American citizens on American soil. Yeah, right. While such extraordinary steps toward the open implementation of martial law on the streets of America might seem like the Bush administration's last-ditch effort to keep the public in check while they rob the Treasury of hundreds of billions for their banker friends, it is crucial to understand that this is only the final stage in a careful plan that has been unfolding for decades through both Republican and Democrat. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, on some real shit, I don't even need to be out here wasting my time even trying to enlight all y'all with this, you know what I'm saying? But it's like something that's pulling me to do this, man. This is a higher power than making me do this, man, because I wouldn't even be wasting my time, you know what I'm saying? I could be watching the NFL games or something else, but I think this is more important than anything that's on TV right now, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, all this shit is old, but this shit is leading up to what's about to happen tomorrow, man. You need to open your eyes, man. All this shit that goes on in America is already planned, you know what I'm saying? Years ago. And now all this shit's about to come to light, and it's about to blow up in everybody's face. I hope I'm wrong. I really hope I'm wrong. But I do not trust these motherfuckers. Not at all. Just look at them, man. These, all these motherfuckers look shady as fuck to me. The motherfuckers don't, don't give me no cheese. They, the motherfuckers don't look out for my family. They don't got love for me, man. They about to send the military out and check all y'all niggas, man. All y'all niggas that got guns and think y'all hard. They about to check y'all, man. They about to check everybody. Put it like that. But, you know, just some brain food for the day, Sunday. Urban warfare drills took place throughout the 90s, with American troops training with foreign soldiers to arrest and detain U.S. citizens. Right. These dudes been practicing since 2000. This is 11 years of practice, man. You better open your goddamn eyes up, man. I'm gone. 